I thank you. I give the floor next to the International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Madam Vice President. We join with other NGO colleagues in mourning yesterday's death of human rights defender Sunila Abbasakera. Her courageous commitment to human rights, particularly women's rights, will long live as an inspiration to the movement. We welcome the High Commissioner's update and appreciate her strong support for human rights defenders. We share her grave concern at reports of harassment and reprisals against people who cooperated with the UN during her recent visit to Sri Lanka. Around the world, human rights defenders continue to be subject to attacks, intimidation and reprisals, most often perpetrated by governments and companies with an interest in covering up violations, avoiding accountability or resisting change. In this regard, we welcome the proposed reprisals resolution. We urge council members to ensure that the text recognises the primary responsibility of states to uphold the right to access and communicate with human rights bodies, including through national legislation. The resolution must also reaffirm the UN's responsibility to protect those who contribute to its work. The UN response should include appointing a high-level reprisals focal point. This position should be mandated to support civil society cooperation with the UN and to protect against and promote accountability in relation to reprisals and intimidation. ISHR is alarmed by escalating threats to NGO participation in public affairs. This is evidenced at the national level by legislative restrictions on NGO rights of freedom of association and expression. Recent examples include regressive amendments to Azerbaijan's NGO laws, the adoption of Uganda's Public Order Management Bill, and the introduction of the United Kingdom's Transparency of Lobbying Bill. The trend is evidenced at the international level by calls to more stringently regulate NGO participation in this Council. In the context of these developments, we welcome the resolution proposed jointly by Chile, Japan, Ireland, Sierra Leone and Tunisia on protecting civil society space. It is a timely and important initiative and deserves this Council's consensus support. Thank you, Madam Vice President.